Hello, I'm Claudia Kate, and welcome back to my channel. It's a haul, y'all. <laughs> I have not done a haul in so long. And most of you know, I moved, had to downsize, so I have been trying to work my way through my inventory. And you guys bought enough, I was finally able to go out and buy more, but I only bought glass. I only bought glass. I wasn't even gonna look at anything else. It was all about the glass because I still have a lot of boxes to go through of other inventory. And if you missed it, I think a week ago Wednesday, I talked about how I'm really going to try to sell down on everything else and really just focus on glass. Um, because storage base, number one, number two, glass is just what I love. So. Even if it doesn't sell right away and has to sit here for a little bit, I don't mind because I love the glass. Um, so, yeah. I am hoping to be able to get some static sales up um, in the coming week. I'm still struggling with the fibromyalgia pain and the chronic fatigue and all the myriad of issues that comes with it. So, um, I just, I can't do... A whole lot right now so but I really really want to give you guys the opportunity to look at the things I have in inventory um, before Christmas so that's my plan anyway I'm working on it but no promises we have to do what the health dictates we can do but let me tell you about my day so um, this will go up today which is Saturday but I was out on Thursday and um, my parents went with me because we had a new coffee shop open really close to the house. And, and I love Starbucks, right? I love Starbucks, but it's overpriced. It's inconvenient because we don't have one on this side of town that has a drive through So even if I am out and about, I have limited energy to be walking in and standing. And so to walk into our Starbucks and then stand and wait, sometimes I just don't have the energy for it. I have the energy to go to the post office. I have the energy to go to UPS and then I have to get back home. You know, sometimes bank drive through, but I can't walk into the bank either. So, you know, even though I love Starbucks, it's hard for me to, to go in and stand. And then they're expensive. They're, they're super, super expensive. They have had three price increases this year in our area. I don't know if every Starbucks everywhere is like that, but in our area, three price increases in one year. That's ridiculous. So anyway, <laughs> that was my little Starbucks rant. We wanted to try out the new coffee place, which is locally run. One of my nieces, well, a couple of my nieces went to school with the kids of the people that have opened the coffee shop. So you always want to, you know, shop local wherever you can. Anyway, coffee was amazing amazing price is a bit cheaper than Starbucks which is good amazing amazing and total vibes if my daughter still lived in town we'd have been in that coffee shop every other day so cute the decor is wonderful they've got one of the cabinet record players chucked right there against the wall with and it's open with a whole thing of records besides so it must work it was fantastic, you guys. I love to find new hidden gems like that. And what makes it even better is if you follow me for a while, you know I love Betty's Flea Market. They are just like you get in your car, you drive a minute, 30 seconds down the road, and you're at the coffee shop. So they're practically side by side. It's fantastic. So we got our coffee, and then we headed over to Betty's. And... um I had not been in there in forever, forever. And they were so low on inventory. I was like, are you guys going out of business? And he's like, no, we just haven't cleared any houses. Cause they're the ones I've, I've told you before. They're the ones that go in and clear out houses and then they can, they get paid to clear the house, but they get to keep whatever they want from the house. They just have to dispose of the things they don't want on their dime kind of deal. So, um, I found eight items eight items. So they're all be coming up for sale um, on Monday's Glass with Class. So if you're watching this after, um, what is today? The third, fourth, the fifth, 
Um, this stuff will already have been up for sale. And I'm not doing any pre-sales on anything except for one item, which I'm going to offer to somebody. And I'll tell you why here in a minute. But let me show you what I got. I got this. Anchor Hawking. Look at that. It's a one liter. It says it right there. It's that big. And you got your anchor on the bottom right there. You can't see it because of my ring light. But how fun is this guy? Eggnog in this, you guys. Even chocolate milk. If you've got your grandkids over, put some chocolate milk in there. Have a cookie baking day. Oh my goodness. It would be so much fun. So much fun. Now, um, Briard did a version of this back in the day where the Santas were, it was called Waving Santas, and they, they were not holding the wreath, the tree, or the stocking. So I believe this is a later version that they were copying Briard. Um, I could not get a date on this. There are, this jar itself is available brand new on Amazon right now for I think $15.95 for the one liter, um, Anchor Hawking. But I couldn't find the Santas. I couldn't find the Santas. I don't think I saw any on eBay. I saw one on Etsy maybe with matching cups. How cool would that have been if it had the matching cups? But so I can't tell you the age on it, but it's fantastic with these Santas. It's in good shape. It's clean. I cleaned it, but it was clean. It wasn't too, too dirty anyway. And the thing with Betty's is a lot of the stuff is filthy. They do not do any cleaning. They just sell it cheap. So it's on you. So you've got to be really careful because sometimes there is a, um, oh, a ding or a chip that you don't see. So I was super careful about feeling the edges of everything, making sure there were no chips on anything. But because of the dirt, I did not see the wear on this one. I, oh, it's going to be hard for you guys to see it. But there's definite wear on this one. And I don't know if it's dishwasher damage or if this was just somebody's favorite bowl and they used it a lot. But there is wear on this one. It's fantastic, though. It's got the design here. It's got the etched design here, the etched stripes here, the scroll work here, and then just the the pattern on the top. It's just a little guy. So once I got him cleaned up and I realized how damaged she was inside, I was like, oh, I don't know. So tell me in the comments below, should I offer it for sale at a re reduced price for its age or should I not offer it for sale? Do you guys mind a little damage when it's something that's got so many, many pretty details? Because my goal for the year upcoming is to not um, have damaged pieces up for sale. So I'm being really, really picky about um, cracks, chips, even flea bites. They got to be tiny flea bites if I'm going to buy it, if I see it. So because this was dirty... And I couldn't see that until I got it scrubbed up because this should be clear. So kind of gives you an idea. Of course, if you've got a sitting there full of candy, you're not going to see that. So I don't know. You guys tell me down below what you think. Should I offer it up for sale just at an inexpensive price because it's so pretty? Or should I not offer it up for sale? I could sneak it into my mom's clear glass and she'd go, oh, when did I pick up this pretty bowl? <laughs> So let me know what you guys think on that one. Speaking of bowls, with a little damage, but this one is acceptable because <gasps> Depression Era Mixing Bowl in the yellow. I collect the green and the pink in these. And I've got various sizes of them and I don't have a full set yet of either. My green's uranium, of course. This one's not. And it's this size. I know that I definitely know there's one smaller because I have the small one in the green. But depression mixing bowl. So it does have some um, mixing bowl damage. But actually doesn't have as much damage as this one. 
So that will be up for sale on Monday. And that's one of my cats. Stop, stop stepping on my iPad. Get off my iPad. I'm not editing that out. <laughs> okay, and then, I, you guys are not, I, I could not believe this. So I just sold the Princess House um, Crystal Perfume Decanter. It was like this big, is, are they perfume bottle? Perfume bottle, not decanter, perfume bottle. It was gorgeous. This is the tray that goes with that one. So this one I will be offering um, to the person that purchased the perfume bottle first. So I've got to email her right after I do this video and um, let her know that I found this in perfect condition. Look at that. Ooh, it's so pretty. It's this big. It would have, the set would have had three pieces. I don't remember what the third piece was. Um, I knew, cause I've sold the sets before. So I knew that the perfume bottle went with the set. I just didn't have any of the other pieces. And in fact, I did not buy it at Betty's. Originally, I bought it somewhere else. So, but here it was. <sighs> I can't believe it. And it's on its own, it's stunning. Like you could put brooches on it. You could put your keys and change on it when you walk in the door. You could set your phone on it. You would, this would be the prettiest. At night when you plug your phone in beside your bed, it's the prettiest phone holder in the world. Like, uh, right? So I will be offering it to the person that bought the perfume bottle just to make sure that she doesn't want this now that I've found another piece of the set. But gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And then I picked these up. I don't know. Sometimes glassware sells, sometimes it doesn't, but they're German. They're etched. They've got the gold. This one has a little bit of its gold loss. Well, you really can't see, but trust me, it has a little bit of its gold loss. This one doesn't. Like, I don't know if there were only two. This green with the ribbing. How pretty is that? So if you have a special drink that you make you sip in the evenings with your special someone this season, these are perfect for that. So, little ones, so pretty. And then I got this and I thought, oh, black glass. Oh no, it is purple. It is absolutely amethyst. So cased glass, I have no idea of a maker. I don't know anything about it, it's this size, but I know that you guys like amethyst glass. So, so, so pretty. So a little vase and I made sure that there were no, no chips, no cracks. The glass does have some bubbles in it yeah, you can see them. Um, has bubbles in it. It's not Murano or anything, but it's pretty and it's amethyst. So I picked that up. And then, just in case anybody didn't have one yet, <laughs> uh, the Hershey's Kiss shaped candy dishes. This one feels crystal, it's heavier. I have not done any research or anything, but. It was super pretty and it didn't have any chipping at all. So if you need, look, look at it with the light. If you need a candy dish for Christmas, this one's perfect. Oh, I love it. So good. I really do think it's crystal. And then my last item. Look at that satin blue starfish. I remember these from the night, not the starfish. I had the um, sun, moon, and star in the tea lights in, I think it was very early now. I don't think it was 80s. I think it was very early 90s. I had a set of three. So if this was a set of three, I wonder what the other two 
Look quick, I've done no research yet, guys. None at all. But you've got the ocean waves here, the starfish, and the satin glass. It feels so nice. And I have to look it up, but doesn't that look like an anchor? Anchor? Did Anchor Hawking make tea lights? So I've got to look that up and figure that out, but it will be up for sale on Monday. I'm super excited. I, I missed sourcing, but you know, I gave you the two reasons I haven't been able to go. And so I got good stuff, I think. I hope you guys like it. And don't forget to let me know about this one. Should I offer it up just at a lesser, lesser price? Or should I sneak it into my mom's collection? <laughs> and all you guys, we have been using the clear glass because she had some um, dishes. I, I think I was with her when we thrifted them. But there's a whole set of clear glass with satin, like, I think it's poinsettias on it. And um, we've been using, we used them for breakfast this morning. We had the prettiest breakfast, because it has matching coffee cups. Yeah. Pretty breakfast, pretty glasses. We've been having a lot of fun, and we start our Christmas baking on Monday. So first we make everything that you can freeze, and then we'll start making candies. Which, candies are my favorite. Cookies are, I mean, I like baking, but candies are my favorite because that's my favorite thing to eat. All right. So I hope that all of you are starting to gear up for the holidays and that you had a fantastic weekend. Oh, and I forgot to tell you on Thursday. So after we did all this in the morning, which was tiring, <laughs> but fun, then Thursday night, I got to go to my first madrigal. And if you don't know what it is, you can look it up. It's like a Renaissance dinner. So you've got minstrels and you've got the, um, the, what was the fool that, so there was a king and a queen. My niece was the queen. My niece was the queen of the magical. And, um, she sings like an angel. She's a music major. She graduates in the spring. She's a senior at college right now. And, um, she just wants to be a music teacher. And uh, I, oh, the final song they did was Silent Night and, they're spread, the choir spread around the room and they sang the first verse in German and then they sang the first verse again in English and you could join in. And then on the second verse, as we're singing the second verse, she's doing a counterpoint to it that I'd never heard before. Oh my goodness. Oh, it was angelic and it was the perfect way to end the night, but it was a dinner and the food was good. Like they have a chef. Food was so good and lots of people there and it was good to get out. I haven't been out in a long time. <laughs> so we ended that, but it was exhausting. You know, it was past my bedtime when it finished. <laughs> so I've had to recover the last couple days from all of the activity on Thursday. So, but I wanted to get this out there today on Saturday so everybody could see what I would be bringing um, to Monday's sale. Still got to pick two more items. I don't, you know, but they won't be new items. Um, so that's everything. You guys are fantastic. And hope you enjoyed the haul. And remember, be kind. It doesn't cost you anything. And it may mean everything to someone else. Especially if you are shopping. Because retail workers are already getting the brunt of the nastiness from people. So be kind. Bye, guys.